so I may call Ahomani so na many Benjamin in Sia any and Como will this boost the energy sector a war Ashanti region and in Empate Muana a Bema and Caniano a Edundum Seseno Edna Suana Ben Otemen car good morning Benjamin in Sia a year energy policy expert and then uh, executive director Edema Sensor Ben good morning Bibia Boko dear good morning Minia Bibia Boko na Peter I need to move Kakraba me why that me a call by the Now be full home I am Now you Now you say what did you? Now you say what did you? Now and <laughs> first of all, give us the background to a merry plant, you know. You can't a merry any day. I mean, uh, if we hear a buyer, you free any baby drew baby, I was you uh, see, uh, yet to me a transported from the shores and the aquacopia more in the Ashanti region. But that's me, uh, a merry, uh, uh, plant, a merry plant, one of the emergency plants, uh, Montpany that I mean, any say buying a brand, I could do so, no. We contract uh, some uh, Middle Eastern partners we um, uh, are this particular plant he buy. And I think that plant in the contract when you say uh, uh, build, uh, operate, and transfer. Okay. And, and to, uh, sometimes we build, operate, uh, no, build, own, operate, and transfer. And to, that is a boot uh, plant. I'm going to buy a number of years. We are it me if you are a NASA American company, no, it means you can get a machine a plant in a bay. I think since 2021, the plant has become uh, the property of uh, Ghana, especially the area. I'll share a generator. So, no, they are coming here. I'm going to buy a generator. I'm going to buy a southern belt. Most of your uh, plant in Ghana is a southern belt. Mm. And now I buy an FSA or move uh, the central or the middle belt. Between the 21 and 82 machines, you know, uh, at the car seat, they call Kumasi. I think that from 2021 to 2024, it's been three years, but when you say, you know, say, operationalize this particular plant, I think it's a good thing, it's long overdue uh, because I checked it And I also think that, uh, say, operationalize it, you uh, they solve a lot of problems uh, the middle belt in the AFC with respect to uh, power supply. Mm, very well. Now, uh, Ameri, no, am I how many megawatts of power? Now, are we going to have all of them on stream uh, on the national grid? No, so, Ameri gives almost uh, 250 uh, megawatts. Uh, but say, uh, availability depends on our ability to supply uh, this plant uh, with uh, the necessary fuel uh, 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 so uh, and the capacity really depends on government's uh, ability to supply with fuel and you say to me supply fuel in you know by the end of the was a but you know supply fuel in you know in the end of the day was a so it, it, it depends on our, our capacity say you've been a scale of supply fuel and i think that is the most uh, important thing. And I also think that, they say, you know, we uh, ensure that the operational plan of America in terms of Babi Obenya, the fuel and free, whether it is going to be through a uh, pipeline layout, or a BLA pipeline, you know, uh, from the southern belt to the middle belt, or maybe through BRVs, I have a supply and a brief, near brief yeah. But I think that uh, the investment done in this, you know, and all the feasibility studies done, the BNR government uh, has seen the benefits of BIA. Uh, Obama uh, availability of fuel I uh, frequent uh, the availability of fuel near frequent I think uh, positioning America in Ashanti region is one of the best decisions that uh, government we are taking very well now in terms of renaming and relaunching uh, which uh, will happen we are told say Ochina I mean what are the general consequences uh, Minia, I think that uh, General consequence, there I don't see any. Mm. Uh, the maker said I don't see any. And he said uh, renaming doesn't change the operationalization or the capacity of the plant. Okay. And I've also seen that most of our plants 
our local names, especially plant I own by VR, you know. Normally, by VR site, uh, plant, you know, so I own the NAD to that particular plant. I'm, I'm, example, I'm asking in terms of contractual terms, and you know, uh, all the conditions you know, have been met. Uh, you drew the level, uh, you bet me, I uh, can the uh, manufacturers of the plant, you know, they say they do not have a hand in there. Uh, and you know, Ghana has fully taken over as the owner uh, of that particular plant. For that reason, you no, know, uh, all the clauses in there are no air fulfilled. You bet me as a plant in the plant, you know, fully owned by Ghana. Totally owned by Ghana. It's the property of Ghana. It's the property of VR. You need you need contract via uh, HSA. You need Ameri Group. No, uh, uh, any arrangement and has any obligations not to change the name of this particular plant. No money should plant in the area, and we determine what name we should give it. We should, we should name it. And I think that based on uh, historical experience or based on historical uh, Facts, you know, most of the plants, you know, they bear the name of where they are sited. It is a plant near the Kokumasi, Nasa Kumasi, Dina, the Betosu, Tunfo, Dina, the Betosu, Dibia, the Betosu. It doesn't change its operationalization. I think the most important thing and the focus of all of us is how this plant is going to get the fuel, how this plant will be technically equipped to serve the people of Kumasi. The name, Sisandi, I don't see any problem with it. Yes, but to the best of your knowledge, you know, uh, acquire a better so you bring your food. I'm a plant, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think uh, there's no transparency with respect to data, uh, data flow on this whole American thing. Okay. Uh, because uh, energy commission uh, and the dam and supply data, the Ministry of Energy has not actually given us the data indication whether pipelines have been laid. Uh, I think that the, that scant information uh, with that uh, part of this uh, whole uh, uh, institutionalization of the Ameri in, in Kumase. Uh, but say Omodia Kokono, the ADN was a fuel call, and TBR, BR, BRVs uh, will supply these particular uh, products uh, periodically to this particular plant so that a uh, Jumase uh, was say. And I think the India America said earlier, and it says one of the best decisions government are taking you know, uh, is that. Uh, okay, the transportation of power uh, and the technical losses that comes with it, within with it, the inefficiencies in our uh, pylons and other transmission lines are uh, also some of these uh, technical losses in the commercial. Getting a plant closer to the electricity user no? uh, boosts efficiency of transmission and then reduces technical and commercial losses. So, for example, then the Greek code, uh, Greek technical and commercial losses are around 11%. Uh, uh, I think that when we take America closer to Kumasi, especially that particular line now, no best supply to Greek, you no, know, and technical and commercial losses, no, so better to crowd to maybe 5%. Uh, because Kumasi, for example, in recent times, has also had uh, new uh, uh, pylons and as a new transmission line sponsored by. Uh, the French government uh, through their official development assistant. The Kumasi Ewo new infrastructure compared to say all supply uh, power not from the southern belt or the southwestern belt to uh, the mid uh, belt. So I think that uh, it's a good thing. It's also going to uh, make sure that uh, Kumasi gets uh, frequent supply of power because in recent times, you know. A craft for a soon with Dumso, but OT uh, information if you Kumasi, but Kumasi Dumso no a very worse and uh, it's affecting their firms. So if 250 megawatt gets close, I think uh, buying a bit me at their support of some firms and as an industry, I'm a very, very productive uh, households, no benya at least a bit of respite on benya free flow of power and a bit more critique in Juma Kra Ama Kumasi for a better pipeline in Lilia and as a VR Vikran neighbor supply. Uh, if anything, uh, uh, fuel, no, whether natural gas, no, the no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 an order, ah, PULC, and make it to the electricity company of Ghana. 
stating, sir, I mean, uh, one more hour that one more on several occasions uh, to release data and information about the current happenings. Yet, one more M5 year, Juma. The second thing, non so, eh, yes, sir, the cash waterfall mechanism, no, uh, PU House is uh, the electricity company of Ghana has not uh, fully complied with a uh, year regulations and then she yeah one more a year for that reason no uh one more air charge the board i was to say and then the former chairman of the ecg board including the managing director dubik mahama said woman to over six million ghana cities now these are concerns are ever because PULC free sir uh the ecg no air yeah so and then they are refusing to do what is required by law and to standing on a year the Public Utilities Regulatory Commission Act 1997, uh, sections 39, 45, and they are asking the ECG to make such payment uh, on individual account because one more said the standings and the books of ECG you know, uh, and you're correct, said one more charge a company. You know, but individuals are one more decisions and I'm a company, you no, know, a refusal said one more take orders, you no. Know, and as I say, they are going to bear the cost. Now, failure to pay this, one more beko prison, and now they will be prosecuted. And then the jail sentence you know, will be two years each for the board members at one more horse, say. <laughs> I think that uh, we must commend uh, PRC uh, in recent years. Uh, they uh, are setting the authority uh, within the utility space, and that is good for uh, either the water consumer or the electricity consumer and he honorable young for basso body i think these days you know uh now you know uh, ecg and its board is not likely going to comply with this directive uh, they have always shown that they are non-compliant entity and mm. uh, 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 a comply with this particular model. Omar Dear President, PRC on several occasions, uh, as TT said, from August to December last year, it was also tier category B, 446 mm. million Ghana cities. ECG uncomply. Somewhere in, in March, uh, they ordered ECG, the ECG, Musaba. Uh, uh, communicate to your LSG uh, uh, load shedding uh, management at timetable, Fabra, by 2nd April, or so the back, ECG and Pharma. Mm. Uh, they came out again, SIM, another order, ECG and NISO. Uh, so I don't see ECG complying with this new uh, directive, especially with respect to payment of any fines uh, to Energy Commission. And we sign here at the Energy Commission, the court at the state is the institution uh, that is going to represent uh, uh, PRC. Rather, for example, if PRC is going to court, is the, yes, state the that Attorney is General. The Attorney General. Attorney General also they also represent the ECG. And Attorney General also I want to say even though the cash waterfall mechanism is not backed by law, mm. Attorney General is aware that ECG has been non-compliant. The Attorney General is aware that. The Minister of Finance is non compliant. The Attorney General no no be dinamu ama PRC or no also no dinamu ama ECG. So I don't see any compliance uh, from ECG with respect to uh, whatever that is happening uh, in the energy sector. Now the back uh, I think the media should focus on no. Uh, yeah, ECG na uh, collection revenue collection uh, rates. Okay. Almost almost ninety eight percent of their revenue. Uh, but they declare uh, less than the 98% of the so, you know. so at any point in time, you know, there's a shortfall of about 1 uh, billion Ghana cities in terms of their revenue collection. Mm. And 1 billion Ghana cities, and that is where our focus must be. Where is it going? Uh, why in any use of you know? uh, So if we are calling for audit uh, of ECG, uh, which PURC doesn't do auditing, I will say you're calling for auditors. I was saying call for a special prosecutor, a court no cohe ECG, the Juma D, because he can never, and this can never know. ECG is not reporting that particular money to PURC. And you know, we have to know where that the other part, no, 
uh, almost above 1 billion Ghana cities where it goes. Uh, because if 1 billion Ghana cities era, and you only need 446 million Ghana cities to offset debt old category B, uh, power se- sector service providers are. Mm. Uh, there's a major problem in that sector. And the BMK say this indiscipline in the power sector no, is supervised by a, minist- a minister and a ministry who actually uh, might not care or doesn't care whatever in, in the power sector. Uh, I think that the president uh, must be a bit intentional and very focused uh, 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 towards the, 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 the power sector because uh, issues no air doors and these conflicts in the power sector no. Or say if any resolve no animal new year because they are resolved now. Uh, Edwin Susan so Kessie a bit brain and I say, Yama easy in so I'm respected to you out here. Edwin Susan so Kessie because uh, at the end of the day, every institution uh, would think that uh, they have a superior power uh, uh, to their regulator and will not respect their regulator. And team in here, I said, the senior medical can easy do not comply and I don't see anything happening to the MD unless the president sack the MD or make uh, make the, the the Minister of Energy sack the M- MD. Now new uh, board ABBA and so be a compliance with ABBA because sacking sends a strong signal that state institutions will be respected. Sacking nobody and you have to be be respected state institution. But the sacking be a ma be ma ya kwe se or banana republic. Everyone does what uh, they want. Very well, Ben. I'm grateful. Benjamin Insia, a year energy policy expert and then executive director at the Masenza, uh, speaking to us. I'll pay checking your time is 44 gone past eight.